God's rich blessings to you, my friends in Christ. I stroll through the scriptures, read through the scriptures annually, and so there's always a psalm that uh, is part of the reading, psalm or a proverb, an Old Testament section, and of course a New Testament section. And so right about mid-year, right about now, I'm about midway through the psalms, and, and so a verse jumped out at me the other day, and I thought, That's a, this is going to be a, a good verse to focus on for devotion time. It is Psalm 75, verse 1. And from that, I've gotten our title of this devotion for today, Your Name is Near. The name of God. That's a powerful thing. Psalm 75, verse 1 reads, We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your name is near. We recount your wondrous deeds. Your name is near. How is it that the name of God, the God of the universe, the God of all there is, the God that is, is immense and holding on to everything, how can his name be near? Well, what's in a name? What's in your name? Think about how, perhaps why you were named what you are named, and how that is you, not just a title for a name tag. Well, with God, it's even bigger and more meaningful than that. Emmanuel, that's one of the names given to Jesus at his birth. Emmanuel, God with us. God, your name is near because your name is you. And Jesus says he and his Father come and live inside of us. The Holy Spirit, our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. So we give thanks to you, O God. We give you thanks for your name is near. Yes, it is. It is in us. And then there's another aspect of this naming kind of thing, this name dropping that God does. It's in Acts chapter 11, where as the Christian church continued to blossom and grow and multiply by miraculous leaps and bounds, we're told in Acts 11, it was there that the followers of Jesus were first called Christians. Christians, little Christ's, expressing the grace, the presence, the peace, the power of the Lord Jesus through his love, through his word. Or another way to say it, in light of what we heard this past Sunday, the fruit of the Spirit, his love and joy and peace and so on, growing in us, empowering us to live true to our name. My encouragement by the name of Jesus, and in the name of Jesus, live true to your name today, this week. There's a great hymn. It reminds me of that very thing, that encouragement, and it is from the Redeemer section of our hymnal. This is All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Listen to a couple of verses. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Ye seed of Israel's chosen race, ye ransomed from the fall, hail him who saves you by his grace and crown him Lord of all. Hail him who saves you by his grace and crown him Lord of all. Oh, that with yonder sacred throng we at his feet may fall. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We pray. We praise your name. Lord Jesus, for it is the name that reminds us you are our Savior and Lord. It is your name that you've given to us in the waters of baptism. It is the name that we wish to live out now today. So continue to strengthen, bless, forgive, and empower us to do that. 
We follow you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for hearing us, for we pray this in your name. Amen. God's rich blessings to you. I look forward to seeing you in church and worship as together we lift up the name of Jesus. I'll see you again.